so in this video we would be looking at how you can actually buy cryptocurrencies to send to the bed free platform to actually end the cryptocurrencies and passive income if you already have cryptocurrencies stored in any of your wallets you could just transfer it um to bed free and begin to trade and place your your bets and um and start any your cryptocurrency and passive income here so and if you check here on bed free you see you have several wallets this is the native token which is bfg and um, you see you have several cryptocurrencies you could work with here these are the approved cryptocurrencies here on bed free and you can if you go through them you could just see them a couple of them here now in this video we're going to um just see how you could buy with binance if you don't have already have an account with binance it's um this is binance is one of the largest exchange out there in the market i mean they, they literally have most of the cryptocurrencies you would um look for if you check their their wallet you can see they also support several um, cryptocurrencies you can see here they also you can see all the cryptocurrencies supported here on binance like you could still go on and on you could buy you could withdraw you could convert some of them you could trade with some of them and that's how it works so if you don't have an account you can see the link pop in here just click the link and sign up to create an account with binance you're going to get a discount using my link to sign up you're going to get a discount on your trades when you use my link to sign up so um let's just jump in and get started this is not the interface you see when you try signing up on binance when you're trying to sign up on binance you would hit a page you are likely to hit a page like this so you just click register now it's not complex you just click register now put your email put your password and uh, you proceed they would ask you for other informations they also have um, kyc um, on binance so you might need to um, identify yourself on binance to set up your account and everything but once you're done um you should be ready to start trading so you can see they have several trading method you could convert you could use the classic advanced margin p2p and this is um this this is the method i'll be showing you how to actually buy cryptocurrency with p2p peer-to-peer -peer means you're buying from another seller on the binance platform and that's what it means basically let's just click here p2p so once you want to buy just come here click p2p and um now yes there's something here you need to note when you're trying to buy cryptocurrencies from binance you would once you come here you can see here you have the buy you have the sell so if you are selling you will come here to the sell and find you will see advertisers willing to buy from you okay you would see um the price the price the current price so you can see the currencies here you could see the payment method and um, but we're trying to buy now so i'll just click buy and um right now you can see here the major currencies you will use to trade here when you're trying to buy or sell is usdt so uh most times you might need to pull up your fiat and select your payment method i prefer bank transfer in my country i don't know what country you're in but for me here bank transfer works fine for me um it's always a seamless process here to buy with bank transfer so i'll use bank transfer and it's very important to also you put the amount you are willing to buy okay so um i could just put um i'm willing to buy um cryptocurrencies what let's say uh twelve thousand they are about okay that that should be around twenty dollars or so uh okay so i just the twelve thousand right and um, i've selected my fiat and now they are showing me an advertiser here so if you check it advertisers here this person if you see somebody with this um, um check mark here it means they are verified um advertisers okay so um one thing you want to look at before you actually click the buy button here you want to make sure this person has um executed a lot of orders um has executed a lot of orders and it has a high completion rate most times i'll go for 95 and above and right here and but right here you see this other person here it's um this this king delhi the king delhi he has 908 orders but he has a 97 completion rate which um um gold dean hub has just 73 so i and he sells between you you have to see also the limit available you have to check this it has to be within the range of what you're trying to buy he sells within the range of 1000 to 1800 naira which is not what i'm trying to do right now i'm trying to 
that's why it's important you actually put the amount you're willing to buy the pull up um sellers for you that are willing to sell with the amount you have so i'll just click search with so it will pull up it's actually sort out and filter um um the sellers for me so i'm seeing here i'm seeing a golden exchange here it's actually a verified seller and he sells between the range of five thousand to fifty one thousand and he has a completion rate of 90 and he has completed over two thousand orders so i could decide to go with this this one has 92 um, percent completion rate just 39 orders this other person uh, and this other person so now you see here but this person is having the lowest price i would uh, i would pay to buy usdt so i could decide to go with this its completion rate is not so bad and it's verified also so i could just come here and the payment method i'll pay him is bank transfer so i'll just click here buy just like that so once i click buy here you can see here they are they have um actually pulled up here a this page and at this page i i need to show them i need to also um type here how much um what of usdt i want to buy so i'll still put the 12k 12,000, and you see here they're telling me i will receive 23 usdt you get it all i i can do now i'll just click buy you need to be very careful also sometimes most of the sellers they will, they will pull up there for you um are weak okay you don't want to place a an order and maybe the seller is not available or the seller is asleep or something i've had those issues i had to wait um i'm trying to transfer these cryptocurrencies and battery immediately and um i don't want any um i don't want to have any issues so they put up the seller's name this bank account and you can see here please confirm that you have successfully transferred the money to the seller through the following payment method you, you you need to have transferred they've given you a time limit to do this transfer they've given me 40 minutes i i need to ensure i've made a transfer and verified it has been transferred from my end if i click this button right now i can just at this point um decide to call this number this is the number of the um the seller so i could call just to confirm if the person is awake so that i don't do a transfer and the person is offline or something so i'll just call the number now just give me a minute the number you're trying to call does not exist please check the number and try again thank you okay so now you can see here just try calling the number they're telling me the number it doesn't exist so um that would be a bad idea for me to try to buy right now i i want to ensure that if i have an issue i can call the seller so this one thing you have to check and if you see that is not working you could just click the cancel order button here and um and repeat the process okay this is just to be on the safe side and um so uh, i'll just cancel cancel uh okay so so i'm canceling you have to say why do you want to cancel i could just say seller is uh let me see problem with the seller payment other reasons i could just put other reasons please enter your reasons seller i'll just put seller offline okay and confirm and i will just go back i'll just cancel i'll just go back to p2p trade again find another seller i'm still getting the same person here but i'm not going to work with him i'll just go down the line and see uh, okay i'm having this lumex x here he has 92 percent completion rate so i'll just go with this person and um, click buy i want to buy 12,000 naira worth of crypto 2357 sometimes the numbers you see there might not be available but um the seller might um, be available to sell but i don't want to do that because i've run into that issues before so i'm still going to call this other person and be sure this number goes to the Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. Yeah, this is a book, right? Yes. I just wanted to confirm you online. I was trying to buy some USDT from you. Okay. Okay. So, um, so you can see the person has confirmed this online. So now I will just go into my mobile banking app. You need to ensure you use your mobile banking app when you're doing this. Okay, just use your mobile banking app. So I would open my mobile banking app now and do the transfer. 
and uh, just give me some minute so um bank bank is um kuda bank so i'll just search on my i'll just search for kuda bank okay kuda microfinance bank and the account number 268 and you 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 need to really make sure the person's name corresponds with the name you see pull up on the bank account here on your phone that you're transferring the money to it has to correspond to avoid any other issues in the future to avoid any issues just make sure the name you're sending the money to corresponds with the name you see here it's very important you do that so and um after doing this i would just at this point here just um send the amount which is 12k you don't need to put a remark leave the place blank and um just ensure you just send the amount and uh that's just it so i have successfully done the transfer okay now i've been debited so i can just click transfer and click confirm i will be waiting for the seller to complete the transaction on his own end so he he has like 14 minutes to actually release the usdt if he doesn't release the usdt after this time and you call him and he doesn't release the usdt all i can do here i will just screenshot my my transaction and click appeal and send my screenshot and make a complaint to the binance um, support and they will mitigate the issue and they should be able to send me my usdt if they confirm i actually did the transfer to this person and this person somehow fraudulently doesn't want to release the crypto they would mitigate and they would release the crypto to me and when you do the transfer make sure you um you actually do a screenshot or you save the um receipts of the transaction it's very important in case you have any issues and you need to appeal it's very important you do that so let's just wait for a couple of minutes i think this is this should be done with okay. so order has been completed this person has transferred my usdt already so there's something you need to note when you're working with um uh with the binance platform once you received your money through the p2p trade your money will be in your wallet but it will be in your p2p wallet you actually cannot withdraw out of the binance platform from your p2p wallet you would need to transfer it to your fiat and spot wallet okay and um, that's why they are saying i should transfer to my spot and actually that's what i want to do this is how easy it is for you to purchase crypto with binance p2p